I'm going to take this wheel cover off before we remove the wheel. Just use a 19 millimeter socket. Loosen up these plastic covers. All right, slide that hubcap off and take the 19 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off and pull the wheel off. Use a 32 millimeter socket, take the nut off. Now we're gonna take the tie rod end stud nut off. Use an 18 millimeter socket. Now I'm gonna remove the stud from the knuckle. I'm just gonna use a hammer, just carefully hit on the stud. You don't wanna mar the end of it or mushroom it. You wanna make sure the axle is loose from the wheel hub, just use a punch. Give it a tap, just make sure it moves in a little bit. I don't have to punch it all the way in yet, just make sure it's loose. All right, now I'm gonna remove this nut. I'm gonna use a 15 millimeter wrench to hold the bolt and a 15 millimeter socket to remove the nut. There we go, take that off. You can slide the bolt out. Just to give yourself a little bit of slack on the wheel speed sensor. Just disconnect this right here. And then on the control arm, it's pushed in. There's some retainers, so just use a small screwdriver. Push the retainers out right there and right there. It'll just give you a little more slack. There you go, pop those out. I'm just gonna use a rubber mallet and a pry bar. I just want to separate the ball joint from the knuckle. So just try not to rip the boot on the ball joint. Get that out of the way. <clears throat> Here we go. Separate that. Let's move it to the side a little bit. Now I'm just gonna hold the knuckle and just uh, hammer out the axle from this side. And then I can use the punch. All right, that's loose. I'm gonna push this out of the way. Use a pry bar. There we go. Slide this out. And just keep in mind there is going to be a washer or a spacer right here. You need to install that on the new one. I put a drain bucket underneath the transmission underneath the vehicle and I'm going to use this fork. This is an axle fork to remove axles. Just get this in between the transmission and the axle. There. You could also try to use a, a pry bar or even a couple pry bars. And now I'm just gonna give it a tap. Working. And there it is. The axle's popped. Get that fork out of the way. Just grab the axle, slide it up. And just slide it out. It's always a good idea to replace the axle seal, but if you don't have one and it looks like it's in good shape, you can reuse it. And slide the axle in position. You can put a little grease on the end if you want, or a little uh, Vaseline always works. Just try to get this lined up. Try not to hit the seal while you're doing this. You don't want to rip the seal. All right, make sure it locks in place. Just try to grab it and try to pull it out and that looks good. Take this little spacer. You can put a little grease on it. That way it uh, stays attached to the axle. It doesn't fall out of place. It almost like glues it to the axle. And we'll just slide the knuckle out so we can line the axle up.
go through the hub. Now I take the lower ball joint, get it lined up with the knuckle. And that looks good. Take a hammer, a dead blow hammer or a rubber mallet. Just tap this back in place. This bolt and nut. And slide it through the knuckle. Tighten this up. I'll just snug this up a little bit. All right, so it is recommended that you replace this bolt and nut when you're doing this job. We're going to reuse ours. The first torque, you want to torque this to 37 foot pounds. Next, we want to loosen it up 120 degrees. So just do the best you can. And then we're going to retorque it 37 foot pounds. And then after that, if you have a torque angle meter, do the best you can. You're going to tighten it another 35 degrees. Good. We're going to reinstall this ABS wiring harness. Just get these clips lined up. Push the retainers back into the lower control arm. That's good. Now take the tie rod in. Get it lined up with the knuckle. Put the nut on. This one happens to be a 17 millimeter, so I'll use a 17 millimeter ratchet wrench, and I'll use an 8 millimeter wrench just to hold the stud from spinning. Tighten this up till it bottoms up. All right, just snug that first, then torque this to 26 foot pounds. That's good. Take the new axle nut, install that. To keep the hub from spinning, I'm just going to take a pry bar and just slide it in position like that. Take a torque wrench. I need to torque this nut to 111 foot-pounds. Now there's three parts to this. At this point, we're going to loosen this back up 45 degrees. So I'll just spin the pry bar around. Right about there. Flip this around again. Now I'm going to torque this again an additional 185 foot pounds. There we go. Now, after you've done this job, you're going to have to top off the transmission fluid because some of the transmission fluid came out. So, right on top of the transmission, there's a fill cap. Unscrew that fill cap right there. You're going to want to use a transmission style funnel. And the easiest thing to do is just take the fluid that went into the pan and pour it back in. As long as your pan was clean and the fluid looks good. Now this fluid doesn't look that good, but we're going to put it back in. Um, or you could take about half a quart of the proper transmission fluid, dump it in. With the car running, you're going to shift through the gears, go to reverse, neutral, drive, let it stay in the gears for a minute, and then back to park, and then you're going to let it run for about three minutes. This is where the level check plug is. You're going to take a 11 millimeter wrench and remove this while the engine is still running, transmission is in park. Make sure the vehicle is on a level surface, remove that. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath. You're going to have fluid come out. Now I added a little bit extra just to show how uh, the fluid's going to come out. So I added about half a quart. So I probably could have only added uh, a quarter of a quart and that would have been fine. So 
So you want a, a little less than a steady stream, almost to a drip, to the point of a drip. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna install the level plug. And just use the wrench and snug it up, not too tight. Now you can remove the funnel and install the fill cap. Just make sure the engine's off when you're doing this. And you're good to go. After you're done this job, you want to make sure you go to a local garage to have the vehicle aligned so you don't have premature tire wear. Install the wheel. I'm going to torque these lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds in a star pattern so that the wheel gets tightened down evenly. Just going to go around again, double check. Line up the hubcap. And just take the socket and tighten these down. Just do it by hand, otherwise you're gonna strip these out. 